Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here today. If you will, like, share, comment on the post. And then, if you will, join me in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 16. Verse 16, Paul is continuing to uh, explain to us how we have been made one, how uh, through the blood of Christ, that the hostility, the walls that divided us have been uh, removed. And uh, it says he did that and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. So he's reminding us and, and further uh, explaining to us uh, our unity, our oneness in Christ, regardless of uh, race or nationality, uh, that we have been, that believers are made one uh, in Christ. We discussed yesterday how the uh, the temple was laid out and divided people by uh, by gender, by nationality, by uh, by by religion, uh, by rank. They they were divided in all these different ways, and uh, the high priest could go one place, uh, the priest could go another, the women could go to one, the uh, Jewish men could go to one, the Gentiles could go uh, so far, and and all these walls uh, divided man. Uh, but in uh, we are uh, reconciled both to God in one body uh, through the cross. Both all of us have been uh, brought together, uh, and He has made us uh, one body. Repeatedly in the New Testament, we read about the body. Of Christ, that He has uh, created uh, one man uh, from uh, from these two groups, this new group, the new man uh, that has been created through uh, the uh, through death, burial, and resurrection uh, of Christ, that uh, the Jews and Gentiles can now be one pot, one body, known as the Church of Jesus Christ, um, and uh, the new. Um, the, the nationality uh, of heaven, uh, you know, a lot of times you fill out these, uh, a lot of forms, and there'll be, you know, eight, nine, ten different blocks for you to check uh, your nationality, your uh, your background, uh, but uh, in heaven, there, there won't be a need for that uh, set of check box. We will all be uh, one group, one nationality, the believers, uh, the followers uh, of Jesus Christ, and the the issue then is then uh, is that we begin to act like that now uh, that we stop uh, all the divisions that we still have uh, even in the church. Um, you know, someone is uh, I think rightfully said I don't know who uh, to give credit to it that uh, the the eleven o'clock hour on Sunday, uh, the church hour on Sunday is the most segregated hour of the week. Uh, we have Hispanic churches and African American churches and white churches and Ukrainian churches and you know and, and I know many times that's because of a uh, a language barrier but many times a language barrier is not the reason we have just uh, divided up we haven't really um, comprehended we haven't really uh, understood what the cross uh, has uh, done for us and uh, as Christians. Uh, many times we have uh, separated ourselves along wrong lines. Now, again, it's it's one thing to be separated by language. Uh, again, you may I, I wouldn't get very much out of going uh, probably to a, a church that uh, all their singing and preaching was in Spanish um, or some other language, and someone who didn't speak English probably uh, wouldn't be too moved by a service at uh, at my church. And so there were some legitimate reasons uh, that we. Uh, are sometimes divided, but uh, many of them are, are, are illegitimate. And uh, again, we uh, have erected some uh, some illegitimate uh, barriers uh, to uh, to fellowshipping together. Uh, again, as I said, I think yesterday, red, yellow, black, and white. Uh, we are all precious in his sight and uh, saved by the same blood. Uh, man has no spiritual advantage over a woman. Woman has no spiritual uh, advantage uh, over a man. We're different. Uh, we uh, act different, think different, but we're all saved uh, by the same cross. We're all saved by the same blood. 
And as believers, uh, we need to uh, to dwell together in unity, as the psalmist says. Uh, behold, how beautiful, how pleasant it is to see the brethren dwell together in unity. Let's not draw artificial lines. Let's not uh, make lines that God hasn't made uh, when we uh, sorting out. We're all uh, believers. If you're all the believers, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, we are one in Christ Jesus. Let's act like it. You have a good day. We'll see you here tomorrow.